points, but it shows you San Diego must have worked awful hard this past week stopping the running game. And also San Diego, 30th on defense coming in the game. That is not the truth. We know that defense is a lot better. Well, let's check on uh, Terrell Davis for the second half. Let's go to Jim Gray. All right, thank you, Dick. I just spoke with Terrell Davis, and he told me that he's going to try and play in the second half. He's having some problems with his vision. His migraine headache is still bothering him tremendously, but he says he's just going to try and play through it. They treated him through the entire half, and he hopes that he'll be able to be productive. Dick? All right, thank you, Jim. Well, that is good news for Bronco fans, as Denver will get the ball to start this second half. Carney teeing it up as uh, delivered each of his kickoffs well into the end zone in this game. Guy who's a real Southern Californian, although he grew up in West Palm Beach, a surfer in Del Mar, California. Contributes uh, to the community, as so many NFL players do, for various charities. Booms another. And Hebron uh, going to take it out from seven yards deep. He's across the 20 and falls over his own man. At the 25-yard line, that was a bold return by Vaughn Hebron. Alan Aldridge, his uh, linebacker teammate, actually uh, tripped him up. No hesitation, even though the ball was seven or eight yards deep in the end zone, and it didn't surprise the blockers either. They were ready, so it, it makes me believe they talked about this at, at halftime. If he kicks it deep in the end zone, let's try for the return. First down for the Broncos, 24-yard line. Finds his man McCaffrey, Willie Clark covering for Dwayne Harper. Harper uh, will not play the second half. He did re-injure the hamstring that kept him out of the last two games. I think there will be a, it will be a long day for Willie Clark. I mean, they finished with a touchdown in this area, and they came right back with McCaffrey right to that side. Hebron out, and uh, Terrell Davis is in the backfield. Davis returns. And met immediately by Junior Seau. Seau then with that uh, celebration after a big play is lightning bolt, he calls it. Brian Habib had no chance of blocking Junior Seau. Look at this, 75 is trying to come down to block Junior Seau. He's already in the backfield. He's too fast for a guard to think that they can get the angle and block Junior Seau. He is going to beat, beat that guard every single time to the punch. He told us he wore 55 because uh, his dad turned 55 as a college sophomore at USC and requested that number. Go! up from that oh my he never saw Chris Mims coming he just he just turns right into him here's the audio replay as you're gonna be able to hear it and see it watch that folks oh man does that hurt that hurts and Elway jogs off the field Darian Gordon now to return for San Diego, Tom Ruin. Ooh, Darren Shaw in on the punter. Fair catch, Gordon, at the 21-yard line. Well, the Chargers get their first chance in the second half, leading 17-7. Solutions for a small planet. And by Dean Winter, there are many ways to measure success. We measure it one investor at a time. Welcome back, 17-7. John Elway testing his uh, throwing hand after that hit by Chris Mims. We'll show it to you one more time. First, it's Humphreys and San Diego. Fumbles the ball, and it appears the Chargers recover. So another favorable bounce for San Diego. Now back to the tackle of Elway. You talk about bone rattling. It takes a man to take a hit like this. Oh. He had really had two choices. Either had Junior Seau or Mims. <laughs> Neither one of them were very good. I mean, but, but the one, what saved him at the last second, he saw Chris Mims coming. He braced himself a little, and he was able to hold on the ball, the ball because of that too. Meanwhile, Leonard Russell, who 
Chiefs had a reputation of coughing it up fumbles, but recovered by San Diego. And a gain of three on the play. Thrown complete. Ray Crockett was all over Andre Coleman, and Coleman made the catch anyway, just shy of the first down. I'm going to go back to something, folks, and I'm, I'm telling you, uh, Dick Enberg didn't make this up. At halftime, we were sitting here doc talking, and Dick says, you know, every time I'm... Third down, and a long two. pick up this offseason the Denver Broncos made in picking up Alfred Williams number 91 comes underneath the blockers nobody there to pick him up Darren Bennett to punt Whoa, just does get it away and it's another boomer Kinchin back pedals inside the 15 by Kinchin and finally brought down by Terrell Fletcher at the 36 yard line 66 yard punt. That's the third from 66 by Bennett today. Trailing 17 7, John Elway, after that vicious hit from Chris Mims, returns to the huddle. They were working on his right hand, scratched perhaps by the uh, face bar as he took that hit. to the 40-yard line. And Govea and Seau make the stop. Excellent job by Shannon Sharp crossing the field. Down at the bottom of the screen, comes across, he sees it's a zone, looks for the open hole, stops, and waits for the ball to be delivered. John Elway had a couple scratches and bruises on his right hand. Doesn't seem to be bothering. Second and five. Oh, another quick incomplete to Miller. Broken up by Terrence Shaw. Fans wanted interference. I mean, this is just great coverage, Phil, right here. Yes, it is. Terrence Shaw looking in the backfield. Sees it's a three-step drop by John Elway looking for the quick pass. Excellent job. I don't think they're booing Shaw because Shaw's right there making a great play. Uh, Anthony Miller had the ball, hit him right in the stomach. That breaks a string of eight straight completions by Elway, brings up third and five. tell you what, old Reuben Davis, I mean, that big guy lumbers across the field, and he went after Elway. He saved a lot more yardage. Watch number downfield now. He sees Elway. He gets tripped up on Clark. They, I mean, that, there's nothing wrong with that. That's incidental contact. First down, Denver trailing 17-7 here in the third. Throws to the sidelines, complete to Mike Sherrard at the 43 of San Diego. Good for about eight. Did you, sir, folks, right in that area, watch what happens when Sharp comes off. Look at Mims. Wait a minute. He's going to turn him and throw him on the ground. They don't even call that. Meanwhile, Sherrard working on Willie Clark. Clark replacing the starter, Dwayne Harper. It's second down and two. That was unbelievable. Right in the open field. <laughs> Terrell Davis, and uh, Davis with a migraine, and the deepest behind Elway. coming, but they pick him up. The throw is deep. Incomplete. And a flag down as Mike Sherrard interfered with. Terrence Shaw got involved too early. Well, when you see the, the defensive back, Phil, get up and not complain, he realizes that he was at fault. Pass interference, 29 defense, penalty is declined, first down. The ball was caught by Mike Sherrard. It gets popped up in the air. It comes back down to him. 
Excellent job by Mike Short at the line. Find some time. John Elway throwing the ball on the line before the defensive back can turn around and see it. Boy, I don't know about pass interference, except that his left arm does get up in the air. That's pretty good coverage. He caught the ball anyway. That's right. He caught the ball. It was a catch. They gave him the catch. First down at the 20. Davis. No, it's a take. going to give us a, his new victory touchdown dance, but only when the game was lopsided. He said, I didn't want, I don't want to do it until I know we've won. What a fake by Elway to Davis, and then a perfect throw to Shannon Sharp. Elam with the extra point, and the Broncos are back in it, 17-14. You're watching the NFL on NBC. They were really growing up fast. Too fast. All Kelly talked about was going to high school, and all I could think about was paying for college. Shannon Sharp with a pair of 20-yard touchdown receptions. Denver from 17-0 down, 17-14. Andre Coleman, a short kickoff at the six. Texas Aggie. Let's go back to the touchdown, and there was more to it than Sharp's reception. Well, the Broncos have not run the ball well all day, but don't tell that to the San Diego Chargers. Shannon Sharp going down the middle. Watch the linebackers bite up on the play-action fake that creates the hole behind the linebackers in front of the safeties. John Elway sees it. Excellent throw. Broke the plane of the goal line, obviously, for the touchdown. As soon as that ball crosses, he even touches that line, Dick, it's touchdown. No matter what happens after that. Now the crowd really into it. Humphreys batted in the air. Incomplete. Flag down. Michael Dean Perry was in on Humphreys. I'll tell you, you know, you know what you know what happens in a game like this when there is absolutely no running in the game? What is it, like they each have 20-some yards? It just tells the defensive linemen, you're not going to run, we're coming. And they, uh, both of these defensive lines, four-man rushes, they're Holding just teeing off and going. 77 offense. Eric Moulton. Ten yards. First down. I mean, you, you could just see, well, when you see the defensive line lineups, y'all, here they come. Eric Moulton, the left guard. Keep your eye on him. Denver runs the game. Really excellent job by Eric Moulton trying to tackle Williams to keep him from hitting his quarterback. Eric, you're right. I mean, I mean that was a smart, if, you say it, if there's a smart penalty, that was it. He's just trying to save Humphreys because he knows that Elvin Williams would have buried him. Is he getting loud in here? The booth is shaking. <laughs> First down and 20. No play, false start. No play as Romanowski makes the tackle. But because of the noise, you could see the lineman could not hear Humphreys. Puno to come, uh, uh, come off the line of scrimmage, or is it the linebacker? But what? Watch this. See, he. Well, well watch in front of him. There'll, there'll be a stagger move, but you credit this penalty to the fans. Well, the problem with all this is Stan Humphreys made the mistake. He was changing the play at the line of scrimmage. You cannot do that with this type of noise. You just say with what you call. Go with it. First down and 25. Another big play along with Romanowski. Oh, man. Did you see where Alfred Williams came from, Phil? He was rushing the passer, read the screen, and got back in to make the tackle. Now, that's hustle. Gain of only 
three on the screen play to the 13-yard line. Watch Alfred Williams. Now. You're going to see him off the line of scrimmage, Phil. And he just comes upfield. He's chasing the quarterback. See screen. Watch who ends up helping and making the tackle. Alfred Williams. That's great hustle. Second and 22. yards with his power to the 17 only four total on the play however third down take a look at Vaughn Parker number 70 the left tackle gets his arms outside on the shoulder pads that is holding <laughs> on Dan Williams number 90 you know, the reason it, 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 it's so frustrating and funny is here's a guy at the end of the line of scrimmage you've got to be able to see it man. <laughs> He's going to kick this ball. He's had three 66-yard punts in a row. Marion Bennett. This guy, look at this. Well, guy. they had that one he threw away. 59. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You've got to take the balls out of the game after he kicks them. Kenshin back at the 20. Another high, high kick. Kenshin at the 20. So the bounce that has gone for San Diego goes to Denver this time. 55 on the punt, 25 on the return. Well, Bennett is kicking the ball so far. It's given a chance for the Broncos to have returns. Terrell Fletcher forced the fumble, but the Broncos are literally covering. Cadrez. The value drop. Momentum on Denver's side. Good field position at the 47 on Kinchin's punt return. Hebron in motion. Elway standing up. Shannon Sharp has another first down to the 41. Lou Bush and Kevin Ross with a tackle. Let's take a look at John Elway. The last time they had the ball, they scored a touchdown. The play action fake throws the ball down the field. Standing there, standing there. Chris Mims hits him. Four steps after he releases the ball. No the flag. Floor. And look at John Elway's reaction. John Elway's reaction, he wasn't reacting to anything about the hit. He was just saying, hey, we just scored. The touchdown. It's only missed on five passes the entire game. One interception, two touchdowns to Sharp. This time to Sharp again. Open. Rodney Harrison makes a tackle, and Shannon Sharp having a field day against the San Diego defense. This time they got Shannon Sharp against a, a safety. That is a mismatch. A good fake inside, showing patience. Look at the separation, and John Elway just floats it out there. You know, you know what the, the amazing thing about Sharp, though, when you look at what he does, look at his catches and everything. I mean, he has total concentration on the ball. This guy does not move until he has it in his hands. Brother of Sterling. He's three years younger than Sterling Sharp. Leading tight end in catches in the 90s, and he's got eight more today, and we have... Just under five minutes left in the third quarter. Elway to the end zone, and that one took off on him. Anthony Miller was the intended target and one of the few poorly thrown passes by Elway this afternoon. Terrence Shaw covering for San Diego. You know, the play before this, when they threw the ball to Shannon Sharp, they, they, they saw the, the, the Chargers got into a, a blitzing mode. They, got, they, they sent a couple of linebackers. And if you're going to give Elway with just your four down linemen that much time to throw the ball, he's going to eat you alive. Elway very close to surpassing Dan Fouts. He uh, needs 15 more yards to be number three all time. Terrell Davis. Yes, he's at the 15. Good second effort by Davis. Rodney Harrison finally making the tackle. A gain of almost five. This is this is all after you keep your feet moving, Phil. You go into the pocket. Watch this here. He gets hit right here 
But watch, well, look at his legs. That's what happens. Kirk Cavea has a free shot. He hits the lineman instead of the running back, and Terrell Davis bounces it outside. Davis on the day, nine carries, nine yards rushing. San Diego's done a good job defensing the NFL's top rusher. Third down and four. Elway chased by Mims. This was off the fake toss and just froze the defense. Well, you can call, I don't think it really it, it fooled anybody. It's just the talent of Shannon Sharp just out running the linebacker and John Elway just putting the ball on the money. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Shanahan just giving him a little tap on the head. Keep throwing it, John. Keep throwing That's it. That's right. Nine catches, 131 yards for Sharp. First and goal. Denver threatens to take the lead. Melway calls a time. He was about to get a five-yard penalty and saves that. First time out of the second half. Denver trails by three, looking for the lead. Shannon Sharp with a body sculpted by Rodan. Those are arms, folks. It's not a leg. 225 <laughs> pounds on a 31-inch waist. You know, when I was born, I had a 31-inch waist. <laughs> First and goal, Denver at the three. <laughs> Terrell Davis stuffed again. No gain. John Perella and Junior Saya of plugging the hole. All right, John, you showed him your one run. Yeah, that's right. Now go and throw the ball in the end well, they're zone. Just, they're just running the ball right now just to let John Elway rest before he throws it again because they're just not going to have any success blocking the big defensive line of the San Diego Chargers. Loss of a yard in the play. Back to the four. Gary Kubiak drafted in the same 83 uh, quarterback draft as Elway, but uh, 170 places later. Now Gary Kubiak calls all the plays for the Denver Broncos offense. There's the take. when the other team cannot run the football. Elam's extra point. Denver with 3.03 left in the third. Finally enjoys the lead. 21 to 17. Both Elway and Shannon mighty sharp today. Yeah, but when he sneaks out, Phil, nobody even looks at him. There's actually nobody to cover him. They, the linebackers and the defensive backs for the Chargers bite on the run. Look at this. Shannon Sharp, there's nobody to cover him. I don't know where Kevin Ross was going, number 36, he, but he wasn't, he wasn't even looking at Shannon Sharp or anyone else. He was covering the other tight end that was coming across the formation. But you know, the point you make is, 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 is really the valid point. You're, you're looking at a team that cannot run the football. The number one rushing team in all of professional football can't run the ball today. So what does he do? They run play action, and it's freezing, every, freezing everybody. Hulk move, uh, Shannon Sharp gives you that uh, celebration and his touchdowns. And uh, he already has a career tying game with 10 catches and a full quarter plus three minutes left of this one. 21 17 Denver and Andre Coleman back for Elam's kickoff. and a flag on the play back to the touchdown well, let's take a look what happens to the San Diego Chargers defense and why Shannon Sharp right here is so wide open watch Junior Seau and the defensive back get caught up looking at the run Shannon Sharp goes nobody sees him reacts to him and it's too late 
Let's go down to Jim Gray. Thanks, Dick. Well, after the touchdown, Bobby Ross, who's usually very quiet on the sidelines, really got into the face of number 38, David Hendricks, the strong safety. Apparently, he must have missed his assignment on that touchdown because he was just all over him. Dick? And boss Ross, and uh, he will get in your face. This penalty is going to go against the Denver Broncos. Yeah, when Shannon Sharp is doing everything, you would think somebody would look for 84. Well, I, I, I still I'll go back again to the point Phil made, which is it just really is so valid that I mean they, they haven't run the football all day long and they run a few play action passes and it freezes the entire defense. Personal foul out to the 36, Humphreys to Roach, the tight end, who leans forward to the 39-yard line. Tyrone Braxton the tackle. The Shannon Sharp with three touchdown receptions ties Denver's all-time record. Anthony Miller has three. Watson, Moses, Scarpitto, Taylor from the past. Well, he's still got uh, 17 minutes and 30 seconds. Let's do another one. And four. Oh, yeah. The way they're covering him, he might get more than that. Second and seven. Russell wrapped up by Allen Aldridge. After a gain of about three, it'll be third down and about three and a half. And coming up Tuesday night, the uh, American League Championships with Eastern Five Pacific here on NBC. No one in the backfield for Humphreys. Caught by Tony Martin. Is it enough for a first down? Yes. Lionel Washington covering Martin. Well, that's a generous spot. Boy, is that ever. And the sideline judge was right there to see it, and I don't understand why they didn't put the ball back another yard. Martin doesn't make this first down. Tony Martin has to turn around for the football, and he falls. That ball looked like it was definitely behind the yard marker. Now yeah, they're going to measure. Oh, oh this is first down. Oh, this is by half the ball at least. At least is right. This was really a generous spot. But Tony Martin on the outside. Watch what the catch is. He has to go back. See, now look at here. He's down. There's where the ball is. Now he moves the ball forward. It's behind the yard marker. He moves the ball forward to get the first down. At the 47-yard line, 122 left in the third. Denver has rallied to gain the lead, 21-17. the flag in the backfield of the Chargers. It may be Parker again, number 70, Vaughn Parker. Holding against San Diego, the indication. And the Chargers, fortunate they have the ball. That was uh, free amidst a sea of orange jerseys on the far sidelines. Ray Crockett just so angry, he had a chance at it. Well, Alfred Williams has given Vaughn Parker Every move in the book. Holding number 70, offense. Ten-yard penalty, first down. He's been run over, run around. Look at the end of the line of the scrimmage, number 70 against 91. This time, Alfred Williams going inside. <laughs> Vaughn Parker has no choice but to pull him down. Romanowski almost gets this ball. Now, now watch number 53 outside. Here's the ball. And they just, two guys fighting over the ball, knocked the ball out of bounds. It would have been Denver's ball. Now Steve Atwater proved to be an enemy, not a friend. I mean, Parker, that's tough. That's a takedown now. Oh. Now, Vaughn Parker was the starting right tackle early in the year. They moved him to the left because he's such an outstanding athlete, and they want to protect the backside of Stan Humphreys. They spotted the ball incorrectly. It's only a nine-yard penalty where they have it marked. scrimmage is the 47 they put the ball on the actually it's an eight yard penalty they put it on the 39 pretty easy to see it, it, it's not really difficult to go 10 yards it's a, is a 10 yard penalty yeah. from the previous spot 
I will put the ball on the 37-yard line. Yeah, see, the 10-yard ten, ten penalty comes between 9 and 11. Does it? Oh, yeah. I'm, Did I'm, you I'm, learn I'm, that in the fifth grade? Almost every single time. Did you have to borrow, though, when you took the 10 from 47? Yes. <laughs> borrow one. First, first down and 20. is Tony Martin, Ray Crockett right there for the tackle. And another flag down and roughing the passer is the call, I believe. Or tackle below Personal the foul. Number 59 defense roughing the passer. Going to the head. Going to the head. Len Cadrez, the linebacker. The Denver Broncos have a blitz on. Stan Humphrey sees it. But Glenn Cadrez hits him with the top of the helmet into the Stan Humphreys. Yeah, he said, hey, how about that one? And uh, McElwee, the referee, that's his call. And it goes to the all the way to the 48 of Denver and a first down with it. But there's another point here, Phil. It's Humphreys. You were making this comment before the game. How many hits he takes? Well, look, at you can see his chin is bleeding. And the one thing that worries me about Stan Humphreys and this Charger offense and, and Dick, we've said this, he takes way too many big hits for a quarterback with a good football team. And it's just a matter of time before one of those hits knocks him out of a game. Yeah, pretty good laceration of the chin. I'll have to bandage that together. Yeah, he's also a tough guy. He, I mean, he'll oh, take a hit. Well, there's no doubt. And every year, he, is, he shows you how tough he is. Almost every week, he takes these hits and stands in there and continues to throw the football down the field. But a couple years ago, it backfired on him. He was hurt and struggled for five or six games because he couldn't move around because of those big hits. Man, this is the longest penalty I've ever seen. What's well, you know why it comes at the end of the play. Right, they come at the end of the play. And then they, they tack on 15 after that. Sean Salisbury picked up by the Chargers this season. He did not play all of last year. He was a sports radio analyst in Las Vegas. Uh, will not come in. Humphrey said, I'm okay. Penalty goes to the 41. Denver leading 21-17. First down, Chargers. Crowd on its feet. throws it away. That's an Elway type scramble and throw from Humphreys. Mike and Lotus was in on him. And Dick, guess what? Another hit. But the thing about that time, he's trying to throw the ball to Charlie Jones, and you're right, here comes another hit. Well, they got, they're got they going for the touchdown on this play. And that's another good shot Stan Humphreys took. Mike Lotus. Anytime you're as a quarterback falling on your arms, you worry about a shoulder separation. Inside the 40, but only a gain of a couple. Neither team able to run the football today. John Elway's uh, arm, the difference at the moment, 21-17, as he and Shannon Sharp hooking up on a career day for the tight end Sharp, and that probably the last play of the third quarter. The San Diego has to be careful. They have to run the ball in certain situations to keep their quarterback from taking those hits and getting sacked to give them a chance to pick up third and short. The end of the third quarter, a two-touchdown period for the Denver Broncos. Once down, 17-0. They lead 21-17. We'll be back after these messages from your local station. Deacon is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the NFL is prohibited. To the fourth quarter, and uh, during the timeout, Stiptick pencil to close. They stop the bleeding and then heavy padding for Stan Humphreys and back he comes. It's stained white jersey. Third down and seven. Underneath incomplete intended for Brian Still. The rookie unable to hold on and uh, with fourth down, this will be a tough call for Bobby Ross because their field goal possibilities are hampered because David Ben, their snapper, was injured earlier in the third quarter. Man, I'll tell you, though, uh, this is uh, this you're talking about fourth and about seven and a half yards. Uh, that pass 
was perfect, Phil. That man should have had the ball. He was looking for the defender. He was waiting to get hit. That's why he dropped it. Half the Bronco bench holding the crowd to make more noise. Flag down. Humphreys to Charlie Jones. in the collision with that water slow and getting up. An NBC is brought to you by Honda. Vehicles designed to help simplify your life. By American Express. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, American Express helps you do more. By True Value, the official hardware store of the NFL. And by Brewery Fresh Budweiser, who reminds you Fresh beer tastes better. Broncos take over on downs at the 38. Everett in the backfield in motion. Elway. Completes it to Sharp again. And that was just Sharp helping out as Junior Seau makes the stop. Let's go back to the collision between uh, rookie Charlie Jones and Steve Atwater. Steve Atwater playing safety in the middle of the field. Watches Stan Humphreys. Sees the ball, reacts to it. And Charlie Jones going so hard trying to remake the reception actually knocks the play up. Charlie Jones is hoping he's with Randy Cross right now. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> no, <I'm not> <laughs> 43-yard line, second down and five. Leads it to Sherrard, roll the catch at the San Diego 47, first down. Ten yards in the play. You know, one of the things that are happening with, with, with Sharp is that he's in there blocking, and he's kind of a release guy on the play before exactly what happened. Now, here's Elway through Sherrod. Look at this throw. Down, away. That's a good catch. John Elway, did you see? Watch his, his, the body language. He knew he, he didn't like the throw. The receiver was wide open. Hit him in stride. He could have picked up quite a few yards. Leading 21-17 here in the fourth quarter. 13 and a half left. Just enough hand in there to break it up. Wherever Eddie McCaffrey goes, there seems to be a collision, Dick. And it, it happened about five times last week. And again here, Eddie McCaffrey running down the field. Nobody in the middle to, to take the free safety. And Kevin Ross comes over and delivers the blow. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm kind of glad that McCaffrey that time ducked down. Because yeah, he saw it he, coming. He, oh, he did. He saw Ross coming. Elway now with 287 yards has passed Dan Fouts. Warren Moon is right there yards apart from Elway, so both of them today undoubtedly will pass the former great quarterback of the Chargers, Hall of Famer Fouts. Elway under pressure still gets it away and completes it. Shannon Sharp. Is there an echo here at Mile High Stadium? It seems like every time Elway throws, Shannon Sharp's name erupts. It's a career best 12 catches for Sharp and uh, tonight at 8, 7 Central, you'll want to check out two new all-must-see comedies. First, Third Rock from the Sun with Emmy winner John Lithgow. Plus, we've got an all-new Boston comment starring Anthony Clark. That's tonight after Dateline here on NBC. Say, well, I'll tell you who's tired is that defensive line. They are tired. That time, the, the Chargers sent a blitz and couldn't get to Elway. Third and five and Ruben Davis, Sean Lee rather. Sean Lee jumps offside. See? See, Dick, this is what happens when you get tired, you start making mental errors, and, and you're not listening. Yeah, he bit on the second hole. Oh, John Elway's the master of that hard second count, and that's another reason why that defensive line jumped. But you know, you, again, you, this this defensive line is tired. They, they've been going. Four guys have been coming all the time. They keep coming and coming. And I tell you what, was frustrating. The play before that, when they picked up the five-yard gain, is when Elway gets his back in the pocket. They sent two linebackers and four defensive linemen and didn't even get close to him. You know, it's been a masterful job of coaching from Shanahan and his staff without their leading runner. They're doing it all passing. 
Chargers must know they're going to throw on just about every play. Thank to Davis. Throw it again. Sharp again to the 27-yard line. Did you see what happened to Marco Coleman? I mean, he takes the fake. Here's a defensive end that ends up in the middle of the field. And he takes the fake, and he ends up, you'll see him on the end of the line right there, Phil. And watch what happens when Elway fakes. He's over Sharp. Now watch where Coleman ends up. He's in the middle of the field. Here comes Sharp back to the outside. Completion. And they'll measure for a first down as the numbers for Shannon Sharp mount 13 catches now in 154 yards. But Paul, Marco Coleman does not have him in pass coverage. Well, I know he doesn't have him in pass coverage. What I'm saying is he went all the way inside. Oh, I understand. What happened, too, is the safeties are just getting confused, uh, moving back and forth, and that's why you keep seeing the Denver Broncos run this little play action one way and just get the ball to Shannon Sharp. He's a little tired, too, now. But he's happy. 13 catches. Shannon Sharp with two touchdown catches. Here's the first 20 yards. Make it first of three. Is he open? This time, able to get in the end zone before he fumbles. And despite this uh, tremendous day, the Chargers forget about him. In short yardage, wide open again. Denver Broncos with a sizable run. are now over 40 yards. I thought I'd give you that bit of news. <laughs> well, it's, that's what makes this team, you, you think that it can be really good because it, they've been built on the running game so far this year. You stop it, so what? Now contend with John Elway, Shannon Sharp, and Anthony Miller and Ed McCaffrey. Davis in the backfield behind Elway. Obviously feeling better after the migraine attack in the first half. What's happening now is the defensive line and linebackers are catching. They're yes. sitting down. They, they, we saw the big rushes for three quarters, and now watch what happens at the line. Watch Shannon Sharp, 220 pounds, trying to block Marco Coleman, 270 pounds. You know, get some help with Zimmerman. Well, now. he's Come still doing a pretty good job. And Mike Shanahan said, when I came here, if he was not going to be a good blocking tight end, I would have made him an H-back or a, a wide receiver. Stop. I mean, Shannon Sharp is not a trained killer now, Paul, blocking. <laughs> but he does, you know, he gets in the way, and think about it. He's so athletic, and he has good hands. He's able to get into the defensive people and turn them and just shield them off while Terrell Davis, you know, goes flying through there. When I, when I just saw you doing those three touchdowns, Dick, how, how do you forget this guy's in the game? I mean, it, it, to me, that's mind-boggling. 13 passes, three touchdowns. First down at the 10. Run, run. short and uh, Elway easily with a first down on the sneak. Well, and if we see John Elway for the first time this year running the quarterback sneak and he laughed about it to us yesterday. He says, yeah, the week before the, the bye week, next week we get off, you know, Mike Shanahan says, the heck with it. Let me get beat up a little all heel during the off week. <laughs> yes, they, have, they have to put the quarterback sneak in when you have Junior say out. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Guess where I'm running. They're going to be a junior. Both these teams will uh, enjoy the off week next Sunday. First and goal, Denver, 21-17, they lead. Interference against Denver. No touchdown. Offensive pass interference. Number 83. That's a 10-yard penalty. First down. So that's why he was so wide open. That helps. Anthony Miller, number 83, going down the end zone, trying to get inside in. not pass interference. If you have one thing, it could be an illegal chuck by the defensive back after five yards. 
at Anthony. I, I don't blame you, Anthony. This Here's is a Anthony bad Barnes call. Going to down in the end zone, and there's going to be contact in the end zone. But he did not initiate the contact. That is well, a terrible call. It is indeed. Cost a touchdown, plus the penalty yards, out to the 17. Mike Shanahan in disbelief, oh, no, no. along with this partisan crowd in Denver. Well, maybe that means uh, Shannon Sharp will get his fourth. He's way out here to the bottom of your picture. Well done. Underneath. Davis. To the nine-yard line. Where it'll be second and goal. You know, I, I, I said something back in the first quarter. I just, it may not be a rushing touchdown in this game. And the way you look at it, the way this thing is going, I mean, they're going to have to throw it in the end zone. I'll tell you, this guy, you say Boss Ross, he is the boss. Still along with his uh, military training and former tank commander, he even refers to us as sir. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand that with you and I did, but Paul Paul, sir. Yeah. Second and goal tonight on the blitz. And it was deflected at the line of scrimmage, and fortunate for the Broncos, uh, not picked off. You think that John Elway did not see Junior Seau and Bush coming, the two linebackers on the outside? Nobody touched him. And he saw Junior Seau out of the right side. Here comes Junior. Look at this. He's not even touched. Elway had to get rid of that baby. Seau able to deflect it. Here's Elway. You're seeing his eyes. Look at this. Ooh, Junior. Yeah. Ooh, Junior. Those baby blues turned very <laughs> mature blue in a hurry. Second, actually third and goal now. the tackle of Harrison and Mims. Mims gets out to the outside and they both miss the tackle. John Elway's fourth touchdown throw, but it was McCaffrey's run after the catch. Elam adds the extra point. 28 unanswered points by the Denver Broncos. John Elway at it again. Watch Shannon Sharp, two defenders for San Diego. What they're trying to do is set a pick for Eddie McCaffrey to come underneath. It doesn't quite work the way they want, but Eddie McCaffrey makes a good athletic play and still scores a touchdown. Three guys miss tackles. Will Willie Clark misses it. Harrison, McCaffrey over the top. It's nice. And Chris Mims, three guys miss it for the touchdown. Denver now 28-17. Touchdown, Elway. Here comes Junior Seau again, and watch this shot. Elway throws. Bam. Time out with 8.13 left in the fourth. Good morning. This is your wake-up call. Small business do more. The styling of the Acura CL Luxury Coupe was designed with the old rule in mind that you never get a second chance. John Elway rallying his team from 17-0. Look at this brilliant day. He's missed on only eight for the sixth time in his career, four touchdowns or more. Humphreys fumble that goes out of bounds. After the catch by Papunu in possession of the Chargers, they actually uh, lose about a half yard on the play. Alan Aldridge made the tackle. See, the rule in, in professional football is this. If you fumble the ball forward, you get the ball back where you fumbled it, if it goes out of bounds. But if you fumble the ball and it goes backwards, you lose the yardage. They uh, call it second down and 10. 
Chargers had seven drives early that were very productive, but they haven't done much lately, and that's when the crowd came into the game. Now it's third down as we go for an update to New York. Thank you, Dick. Great game in Buffalo. The Colts and the Bills. The Colts have just tied it up. Marshall Falk culminates an 11-play, 81-yard drive with that touchdown run on the first play of the fourth quarter. When your game ends, we'll have the conclusion of Colts-Bills in Buffalo. Back to you, Dick, in Denver. All right, Dan, a good one going in Buffalo. Marshall Falk back for the unbeaten Colts. Third down and 10 for Humphreys. Sidearms that complete the Fletcher, and Fletcher stopped after a game of four, and the Chargers will have to punt. And this uh, crowd noise is the loudest by far that we've heard this year. This and this Bronco defense. Dick, we said it a couple weeks ago, and we got a chance to see him for the first time this year. Fast and aggressive. That's what uh, Shanahan's priority was to add speed to the defense. They are so much improved the last two years. A new David center, Dan's made. Deems made the tight end as David Ben, who is on this team only because he's a superb snapper of the ball. So this could be an adventure. A good snap by the flag down. And there must have been a false start. No play. Yes. Illegal procedure on the Chargers. The left guard Illegal moves. Illegal snap against the center. Double punt. So Five-yard penalty. Fourth down. Yep. This is what happens. You bring a guy in that really he's a third snapper on this team because their second snapper is out. Ingle is not even active. And look what happens. He double pumps. And he, looks, he looks up. There's nobody there. I mean, that's funny. Ben is, of course, the, one of the best snappers in the league, and that's why he has a job. And then Greg Engel is his backup, and Engel was one of those put on the inactive for today. So May tied in from North Carolina in a very tough spot here. Perhaps one of the reasons why the Chargers didn't go for a long field goal. Remember when they uh, went for it fourth and seven down at the 39-yard uh, line of Denver because uh, they didn't want to risk a, a snap and a block. Kinchin waiting as deep as you can get way back at the 28-yard line with Bennett. He'll kick the ball from around his 9-yard line, and the man at the other end is inside his 30. Usually the, the punt returner gets back about 40 yards so he can move a few yards forward or back, and Kitchen is back, oh, 55 almost yards. 60. <laughs> almost 60 yards he's back there waiting for the punt. But I love Kitchen, though. I mean, this guy loves to return him. Dean's made a try again. There it goes. Good job by Bennett. That'll uh, hurt his average, and that's a shame in a way for a guy with a, such a great leg. But uh, he was uh, trying to overcome the error by May and just get the ball downfield. Out of bounds. You know, this really is a tough situation for a guy to come in. Now, I mean, look, look at that snap. I mean, he lifts that ball up. It's, it's amazing. The defensive guy doesn't whack it, but that ball only got about halfway back. He rolled it back there. It'll be Denver's ball at the San Diego 44-yard line. Chuck Fiber is going to have a little thing to say to May. Look at this. You see, yeah, snap the ball right. He's, and May turns around and says, hell, I didn't get this job anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, you giving it to me get for it. Ben healthy. <laughs> yeah, ball from the 45. First time Denver started uh, possession in San Diego territory. Terrell Davis showing he's still can He was uh, stuffed for three quarters, but starting to pick up some uh, significant yardage at this point. Well, look ahead. Tuesday night, the American League Series begins. Two storied rivals, the Orioles and the Yankees at Yankee Stadium, 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock in the West. You love that baseball, don't you? I do. Yes, wow, you do. Uh, and Paul, this you is love the it time too. of the year. The Yankees. Told you the Yankees were going to win. John Elway was signed by the Yankees Farm Club. Hit 318 his only year in the minors. He still roots uh, for the system. Showing he can be the cleanup hitter, cleaning up this uh, victory for Denver as he picks up the first down. 28-17 Denver. This says a little about the Denver Broncos offensive team. Here they're getting in a situation. San Diego knows they're going to run the football. But still, you can see the, the, the big hole that offensive line opened up for Terrell Davis. You know, and you mentioned this before, Dick. This is one of the smaller lines in the National Football League, but yet they are just doing the job. 
So you have 12. He had only 10 yards rushing total through three periods. He had the migraine headaches in the first half, sat out most of the half. But uh, San Diego really had defensed him well when he was in there. Billy Clark grabbing on anything he can get. Fans thought he had the face mask, but he was right around the collar of Davis. Did you see that move? Terrell Davis was trying to get down. Good better move. Don't go out of bounds to stop the clock. Get down. Keep the clock moving and get this game over with. Well, that's what they've said about this young man from day one. He's so intelligent. Didn't make any mistakes as a rookie. Remember when he told us with those big eyes the last year? He said, hey, I was just hoping I'd make the practice. Yeah, he was one of the practice squad. <laughs> and look what happens. Rushes for over 1,000 yards and had a spectacular season. 21st running back taken in the draft a year ago. What a pick for Denver. at the 16. Well, he was trying to get the ball downfield to Anthony Miller, who was covered one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. But when El Elway went on that roll, he looked out there. There were no linebackers. There was nobody there. He said, why not? Yeah, Let's old, go. The old man can still run. And the old think, man? Well, he's old in football. He's old. <laughs> but he was thinking, he had a quote this past week, and since he last week, he moved around and made some plays. And he says, you know, I felt like an iron deer before this game. I, I was just going back in that pocket and standing there waiting to get hit. So he, he's at his best when he ad-libs, moves around, and makes things happen. Yeah, he said, I'm not going to be an iron deer in my front yard anymore. Vaughn Hebron, who has terrific acceleration, as you can see, and that caught the eye of Mike Shanahan, who picked him up as a free agent. And an injury on the play. Time permitting. Following our game, we'll be switching to Buffalo for the conclusion of that Colts-Bills game, so stay with us. Dwayne Gordon, backup linebacker, the injured charger. Indianapolis, unbeaten 4-0, and doing much of that without the services of Marshall Falk. Falk, uh, after the bye week, healthy, and uh, scoring the tying touchdown, as you saw in the second half. Shannon Sharp, slow getting up as well. One other thing I'd like to share about, about Terrell Davis, we did him a, a few weeks ago about, about him. We said, what do you have to learn? What is what you need to work on? He said, everything. You know, and, and that just shows the class of this young man when he just said, you know, I, I, there's nothing that, that I cannot learn. And, well, he, and then how he's handled his success, Dick, I think is what impresses all of us and the coaching staff of the Denver Broncos. And, and his uh, teammates, he, he was offered a lucrative radio show here in Denver. He said, no, 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 I'm, I'm no. not ready for that yet. I've yeah. got, I'm concentrating on football. And meanwhile, uh, Shannon Sharp, who, uh, like his brother, is uh, very verbal. Yes. Uh, but he really, they both back it up, don't they, with their production. And what a day for him. Well, I like what he said yesterday, too, because he was always the go-to guy. He and Elway had to bring this team back from behind. And he said, now, I'm, you know, we're all team players in this. He said, when I'm not supposed to be in the pattern, I've got... I've got to take my fakes out to the fullest. I got to make sure I have somebody cover me. I can't be just just, just moving around doing nothing. Well, they had to quit worrying about stats. Don't worry about stats. Just do what's best for the team. And I think that's well. That's one of the reasons why the four and one and soon to be five and one. Terrell Davis. The three yard line. Kevin Ross. Rock Ross makes the tackle. First and goal. Well, this is the young man we're talking about, Terrell Davis. Look at him get to the outside. Inside, pops back to the outside. Also excellent blocking. You've got to give an awful lot of credit to this offensive line of the Denver Broncos. And I'll tell you who else. The receivers downfield, they are doing a great job. You know, Davis has a lot to worry about, though, as you look at his uh, bio. Uh, he's concerned about a Sports Illustrated article and the photographs next week. He says, I don't have any furniture. You know, can't. Go to go one of your friends' house. There's a nice house and say it's yours. Set the pictures there. First and goal. Davis to the yard and a half mark. Seau saves the touchdown. Junior slow getting up. As is Davis. Well, Junior Seau has been hampered a little bit by a hamstring injury, and as the game goes on, it gets weaker and weaker on him. But, but Junior Seau gets back to the inside, makes it, makes another play. Uh, I remember a couple years ago, Dick, when, when Seau played with just one arm, and it, it was it was sad watching. But he said, "I will probably never be totally healthy." I don't think many of these guys are, do you? Well, it's just such a violent game and so much hitting. It's hard to be completely healthy. From the one, second and goal. 
Chiefs for another second to tick off, using all he can. Two minutes, 24 seconds remain in this fourth quarter. Elway and the Broncos, what a comeback day. Sense. Four touchdown passes for John Elway. 28-17. Elway looking for five and throws that one away. Five would equal his best ever mark, and that came 12 seasons ago against the Minnesota Vikings. What are you, what are you laughing about? Anthony here? Miller was John Elway threw the ball away because the blitz was on again. But Anthony Miller's in the end zone. The ball's almost in the stands, and he's looking up to take where is it? Where is it? Well, finally, San Diego didn't go for that play action fake, and Lewis Bush was heading straight for the quarterback, and it's a good a good read of John Elway just getting rid of the football. Third and goal at the one. Miller left, McCaffrey right. Shannon Sharp on the left side. Driving to the goal line, but not in. It'll be fourth and inches for Denver, and they'll let the clock run down to the two-minute timeout. Reuben Davis was the big guy to plug up the hole against Elway. I kick a field goal here to put that game to 14 points. Well, they've got... Uh, a uh, full minute plus to talk it over. Fourth and goal for the Broncos at the two-minute warning. If you think stress is... Fourth and inches for Elway and the Broncos. Elway diving. Did he get in? No signal yet. I believe they're going to mark it outside the goal line. Yes, the Chargers do hold. Boy, he... I thought he got in easily. Well, the problem is he pulled the ball down. You've got to get the ball. Watch if he sticks it over the goal line. Here we are. Take a look at it. Says he pulled the ball down. A good search. All right, he's got the ball down. He's trying to get it up, but they won't allow it. Phil. We don't see it there. Now, do we see it on this side? The reverse angle. John Elway, only the ball's got to touch the goal line. You don't, don't see the ball. Neither not, linesman no. could see the ball. So. I don't think he got it up there either. You're right, Paul. He could have. If he'd have put the ball in front of him, it might have been a touchdown. See, he gets the ball down in his chest, and he can't get it up. And I think that's that's what, and they blocked the ball out. Junior Seau. So Stan Humphreys with 153 left. Oh, hit hard as he tried to make a catch. Tony Martin. Ray Crockett delivering the blow. As a reminder that following the game on most of these stations, it's Dateline Sunday, then two all-new must-see comedies, Third Rock from the Sun and Boston Common. Viewers on the West Coast, of course, will see those shows at their regularly scheduled time. See, I told you it wouldn't be any rushing touchdowns. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll go to Buffalo, where the Colts and Bills are tied at 10 in the fourth at the end of this game. Humphreys to Fletcher. Terrell Fletcher to the nine-yard line. Where it'll be third down. Tyrone Braxton, Bill Romanowski, the tackle. 139 left. Timeout called San Diego. And again, stay with us. You'll see the what should be an exciting conclusion of two uh, top AFC teams, the Bills and the Indianapolis Colts in Buffalo right after this one. Well, that uh, gives us a chance to look ahead to next week as well. Next Sunday on NBC, Jimmy Johnson, his young uh, linebacker, Zach Thomas, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar will be in Buffalo, Thurman Thomas and Pop and Bruce and the Bills will be there, Miami and Buffalo renewed. Houston, Atlanta, Cincinnati, Pittsburgh for some of the rest of you folks around the country. You know, Elway heard the opening when, when you said there's a new star in town, Terrell Davis. Yeah. And Elway's no longer the, well, wrong. He's going to have to buy another <laughs> car dealership after this effort. He's only got seven. Humphreys on the sneak. Did he fumble? Yes, he must have. And Denver says they have the ball. But the official says he's down. He is down. Stop. Forward progress. Stop. And a flag was thrown by an official downfield in front of the Denver bench. And he runs into that number 68, the back judge. And apparently there's going to be an unsportsmanlike against Denver. The runner was ruled down by contact. We have a 15-yard unsportsmanlike. 
have been uh, anyone, not necessarily Mike Shanahan, on the Denver sidelines. Well, they're, they're saying right here that he is down by contact, and he is. He is. That's that's a good call by the officials. The other one was, you know, you got to stay you got to stay off the playing field. And what's happening is that the, the Denver Broncos are excited about winning this football game. Pick it up. Now it's uh, Greg Robinson, the oh. defensive coordinator, out on the field. He was out on the field, voicing his opinion to the referee. 132. Clock stopped with a penalty to help San Diego. Tim Hawk, the veteran from Montana in the open field with a stop. 119-118 clock running. San Diego got the first 17 points and Denver 28 cents. Humphreys flag down, dumps it off to Omar Ellison. And Ellison with his first catch of the season, but not for much yardage, and uh, it'll be against San Diego. I tell you what. Number 72. Gary Swain. Penalty, second down. Bobby Ross has got to go back to San Diego in the next two weeks because they have a bye and put this team back together again. Uh, they are a good football team. Remember last year when he talked about there were a few games in there that they just, he did, they didn't have the fire, they didn't have whatever it needed to win. Now this team went up 17 nothing. Well, they had the fire today. They, they did, and they did. But I mean, ever since they got 17, the, th the whole thing fell apart. It's interesting. The three teams in the West: Kansas City, Denver, San Diego each other when they were the home team. Fletcher it's a running across the 30 to the 34. Kansas City beat Denver in Kansas City. San Diego then beat the Chiefs in San Diego. Now San Diego comes here and Denver wins on the home field. And now the late report from Buffalo is the Colts have just kicked a field goal to take a 13-10 lead. We'll be going there as soon as the final gun sounds at mile high. Only undefeated team in the NFL. And we've said it many times. If you're a football fan at all and have no allegiance, how could you not like watching <laughs> Jim Harbaugh and the Colts? I tell you, that is a very well-coached football team. Yes, they are. On both sides of the ball. They're aggressive on both sides of the ball, and it's so much fun to watch them because of that. Lindy and Fani and his offense, well, you never know what you're going to see. And uh, every game, they come up with a few new wrinkles that add excitement to these football games. What I liked about it, he takes the head coaching job, Dick, and but he remains the offensive coordinator of the football team. Couldn't have got the job without being the <laughs> offensive coordinator. That was a condition underneath again to Fletcher. Chargers taking what Denver will get, but it will take you forever to go all the way down the field, gaining five, six yards a crack, and there's now only 42 seconds left. Romanowski and Braxton making the tackle. No huddle for Humphreys. Alfred Williams just well, plants Stan Humphreys. And Stan Humphreys is down. And I, I'll tell you, you're right, Phil. This guy takes such a beating. Uh, I mean, they're, they're, he, he got beat up all day long. They split his chin open. And then you get to the final minute, and uh, hopefully it's uh, not a serious injury. I mean, Alfred, I'll tell you what. Stan Humphreys really didn't see him coming. He stayed there to throw the ball to try to complete the pass. And the worst part about it is, would he throw it to Fletcher? He drops the ball. I mean, you're going to take a lick like that, and the guy drops the ball, at least catch it. Well, Humphreys, we talk superlatives about John Elway, deserve it. You know, Humphreys, 23 for 35, two touchdowns, no intercepts. He's three sacks, and he's been hit another uh, seven, eight times, right? Hard. Yeah, he's played extremely well, but... One of the things we noticed watching the San Diego Chargers coming into the game, watching film, all the big hits this quarterback keeps taking week in and week out, and you just can't be that lucky. I don't care how tough you are. Well, look at it. You see the hurries. Eight, eight so, knockdowns, three sacks, and one deflection. And a lot of those hits have been, they're not pushing him down. They're solid blows and falling on top of him. And that's when you get hurt, just like then. Alfred Williams falling on top of the quarterback. That's when you're uh, your the most dangerous position. Now Humphrey's trying to collect whatever. Yeah, they grabbed the back of his neck. I'll tell you, I, I, you know, ever since this guy moved to San Diego where he really had the opportunity to play, I really respect this Stan Humphreys. I, I just I just think that this guy has a lot of guts because he, he'll stand in there and take the lick to, just to complete a pass. He's got guts, but he also has had a lot of talent. Oh, yeah, he does. Like now, we talked about, he just doesn't get credit for the talent that he really has. 
Well, that picture says it all. Helped off the field. Blood stains from the earlier pop on the chin from Glenn Cadrez. And now Sean Salisbury with 34 seconds. He's played uh, briefly, three for six on the season. And that was their last time out. They had to take a time out there, so they have to. Lead to Fletcher, another flag is down. Fletcher, a short yardage play. Clock stop with a penalty, 27 seconds. Michael Dean Perry's helping out the officials, telling them they were holding me. Personal foul, illegal chop block, illegal chop block against the right guard. That's a 15-yard penalty. First down. There's Michael Dean Perry. I loved his line. He's along with being a terrific athlete. He's got a great sense of humor. The right guard, Isaac Davis. Michael Dean is engaged with the center, Courtney Hall, the left guard. Well, that's on Courtney Hall. He leg whips him. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about illegal chalk. That's an illegal leg whip. You know, you're his favorite announcer, Paul McGuire. Yes, I am. Yes. He, he paid you such a nice compliment the other day. He yes, said, he know, did. I wish I were like you because sleep wouldn't matter. He said, whether you get two hours or 12 <laughs> hours, you still wake up ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was beating you up. I you know, know he did. I, I, I'll get back at him. I'm saving my good stuff till the latter part of the year. Is for that him. it? Oh, sure. Are you saying Michael Dean is pretty? Is that what you're telling me? No, he's not. Oh. Fletcher again. He's been the workhorse in this... Uh, what has become a meaningless drive, and uh, now the clock will uh, run it out, 16-15, and this is a victory to be celebrated by these Broncos. Down 17-0. Elway and Shannon Sharp connect three times. Elway throws four touchdown passes. A career game for this man, tight end Sharp, and Denver moves into a tie for first place. Let's go to Jim Gray. Dick, thank you very much. John, another comeback today. Is there ever any point, you're down 17, is there ever any point in the game where you feel you can't come back and win? No, no, especially with this offense. And, uh, you know, we had, we, we kind of beat ourselves at first house, in first half, and we knew if we could start playing our game that we were going to move the football. So defense came through the second half and shut them out and allowed us to catch up. This was vintage old John Elway. You had to abandon the running game with Terrell's headache, didn't you? Yeah, we did, and uh, they were taking it away. There wasn't, there wasn't a whole lot there playing eight-man front. So when they play eight-man up front, then we're going to have to start throwing the ball. So it was kind of, it was fun. You're ageless. <laughs> Let's go back upstairs to Dick Enver. Four touchdown passes for John Elway, 28 to 17. The Denver Broncos have defeated the San Diego Chargers. Not only 32 completions and four touchdowns for Elway, he took a hit from Chris Mims in the middle of this game that would have put an average guy in the hospital for a month and a half. All right, that's the conclusion here at Mile High. Let's send you to Buffalo for the Colts and the Bills. Thank you.